Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to play Let It Be Me. This is the arrangement I made for my YouTube video. If you haven't seen that, there's a link for it in the description box below. And uh, the tablature is also linked there. Uh, you can get that from my website. Okay, I'll play the first bit like I do in most of my um, tutorial videos. And then I'll call out the, uh, the actual notes for you. So the first part is... We're starting on the G, we play the second uh, fret three times. Five, three, two, and now we go to the, the D string, five, okay, then we play, and there we, we're on the D string, three, five, two, Two on the uh, G, that is. Five on the D. Three, two. Now we've got a slide from three to five on the A. So we're playing. So there we've got a slide and a hammer on. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. So three to five. Then we play the 3 on the D, then we hammer on to the 5th, play the 3 again, and then the 3 on the A. So we've got... And now we play on the D, 3, 3, 2, 3. Okay, so that whole section is... Now this next bit's a little bit more tricky. These are called double stops and we're going to be playing this. We're playing on the, uh, the, the D and the G string and we're playing 7 on the D, 5 on the G. And we strum those strings together, okay? Twice. Then we go 5 on the G, 5 on the, on the B string. And down to 3, okay? So we take those two fingers and just bring them down to the 3rd fret. So we've got that first position again which was 7 5 and then bring that down to 5 3 5 on the D 3 on the G so we've got now we're going to play 2 and 3 on the D and the G string and come back up okay to 3 5 five seven so we've got back to three five back down to uh, two three and then five seven we're playing on the uh, on the D and on the A so we've got and the last bit of the double stop section there we're playing what we played before. We're going to slide 3 to 5 on the A. But we're not going to do the hammer on this time. We're just going to play. So we're going to play on the G string. 3, 2, 3 on the D, and 3 on the A. So we're going to play. Okay, so that, that whole little section there is 
you can do a little pull off there if you want from three to two okay so and then three three two three so then we've got this part here just just like the little walk up to to this section here Okay, so what I'm doing there, the walk up is I'm playing three to five on the D and two on the G. So then I slide up to the seventh on the G, play and slide down to the fifth. So. That's a slide five to seven on the D string. Now I'm going to play the G again from seven to nine. So it's a, I'm, I'm hitting the note and sliding up with my finger to the ninth and back down again. So I got. So I only hit that once. Okay. So I play the fifth slide five seven five and then finish on the eighth of the A string. So we've got Next part goes so I'm on the G string three to five hammer on slide that's all one strike okay you hit it with the pick back down again all with one hit of the pick you hit the third and that's it so hammer on slide slide back down then you play the third on the D and then we go to the to the B string and play the sixth fret so we've got I'll play that section through again. So the last bit is just... So we're back on the D string. Three, five... Play the second fret on the G and then I put my finger over both the D and the G string on the second fret and play those two strings together. Okay now we're moving up the neck of the guitar we have more double stops to play. I'll play the first section and then we'll, uh, we'll go through it together. Okay, let's do those little those little parts first. So what I'm playing, I'm doing all of this on the B string and the E string, okay? And I'm playing ten with my uh, ring finger, and uh, I'm playing eight with my index finger, okay? So we're strumming down three times both of those strings together. We're moving up now, twelve and thirteen. 10, 11, back down to uh, 8 and 10, 
and then down to 6 and 8. Okay, so we've got Okay, the next part, 5 and 6, 6 and 8, 8 and 10, twice, 6, 8, 5, 6, 3, 5, okay? So that whole section again is this. Now we're going to play this bit. Okay, all I'm doing there on the G string, I'm sliding 5 to 7, playing the 6 on the B string. So we've got 6 on the E, 5 on the E, 6 on the B again and 5 on the G. And then we finish this little section with So we slide in 6, 6, 5, 6. Now what I'm doing, I'm playing 11 and 10. So 11 on the B, 10 on the E. Now I'm playing 10 on the B and 8 on the E. We've got this. And I move down to uh, cover both uh, the notes on the first fret with my index finger. So we've got this. And did you hear how I let my fingers just trail on the string as I went down to get that kind of that nice little effect there? Uh, this here. So I'm just being lazy with my ring finger there and just letting it just slide along the string so you get that ooh. And you hear that in the effects uh, and it's, it sounds kind of cool like, I guess. It sort of gives a bit of a connection between here and here. So that's that's something I do often uh, when I play, uh, just to kind of keep the sound a little more sustained. Okay, so we've got this part then. Now we're going to play and I'm starting again here where I was before, 10 and 11. So I hit once, and then when I hit it the second time, I slide up to 12, 13. Back down to, uh, to, to where we were before, um, 10 and 11. So we've got... There we've got 8 and 10 again. So... Now we're on 5 and 6, always on the same two strings. Alright, so now we're going to play Okay, and what I'm doing there I'm playing 6 and 8 We're always on the, the B and the E string Okay, 6, 8 Move it up to uh, 8 and 10 So we've got 6, 8, 8, 10 we're back to 10, 11 again. Back down to 8, 10. So we've got... Back down to 5 and 6. And now we slide all the way up here. So we're on 17 and 18. 17 with the index finger on the E. 18 with the uh, middle finger. So we've gone all the way from 5-6, 
right up to there. Let's play that through again. Now we're playing uh, six. On, this is on the B string. We've got six, eight, five on the E. And now back to the B string. We're going to place our three fingers, index, middle, and ring finger, on six, seven, and eight all together. And we're going to bend a whole tone. So we basically want to get this note here. So use all of your fingers to push that string up until it sounds like this note here. So we've got Okay, to finish the song, nice and simple now. We're not doing any more double stops. We're just playing. Okay, so that's on the E string. We're playing the fifth, eight, six, five. Now we're changing to the uh, to the B. Playing um, eight. Now we're going to play six, eight on the B, five, five. Back to the B, eight, six, five. We're going to slide on the G from five to seven. Six on the on the uh, B up to the eight back to the six and then back to the G on the fifth slide into the sixth five six here is the very last section. We're doing the 3-5 slide on the A, and then we're playing 3 and 3, 3 on the D, 3 on the G, and then we're going to the 2nd, playing the 3 again on the D, little finger then plays the 5th fret on the G, so we've got And then just finally to finish it off, slide into the third on the D, two, three, okay? So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope uh, I explained it clearly enough for you to understand. If you'd like to get the tablature, you can get it on my website. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, write them down in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to have uh, extra help with this uh, song, or with any other song. Um, I do online Skype lessons so you can go to my website all the links are below again in the description box. Uh, you can contact me there and I'll book you in for a lesson on Skype and uh, teach you what, whatever it is that you like to learn. Um, so uh, if you enjoy my videos please give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.